Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and today I will show you how to make your model more alive with my packages. I made simple model of fly with some animations, we will start with that and finish with something like this. So there is much more motion on the model, it not look so stiff. I disabled my components again so you can see difference better and activate again. So we will make animation look more interesting. Let's get started. To make all of this, we will need only one package, which is Tail Animator. Let's import it. Alright, let me show you the model. We will add components to bones of the model, but don't be scared, bones are represented in Unity by just game objects, so we will use only Kairaki. So I unfold objects in my model. Then we can check which is which by moving them and then using Ctrl Z to reset the right position. And now we will animate antennae, head, tongue, wings and abdomen. We will start with the antennas. They are attached to the head of the skeleton, so I open it. And there we have two bones of what we want to animate. In each antennae there are other bones reacting on different polygons. So let's add tail animator to these two bones. You can drag and drop component from the project window or type here tail A and all components from tail animator should pop up. Ok, let's focus on the antennas. Right away it looks nice. I can tweak them a bit to make them more noticeable or make animation more sudden. Make them more bouncy. But in this case I think default settings are the best, so I will leave them. And let's go forward. Let's focus on tongue. So here it is. These bones are animated. I know this because I was making the animations. So I will use Tail Animator Blending for it. Tail Animator Blending provides some more options for the animated objects. Let's hit connect with animator. So Tail Animator will try to follow keyframed animation and add own procedural motion to it. Let's hit play and tweak rest in a play mode. Now we have something like this. I don't want this waving animation to the tongue, I would like more that it will react with a whole model motion. First thing I will do will be changing max stretching down and I would like tongue to be a bit bouncy. Also I will change down sensitivity of the motion. Maybe make it a bit more floaty, cause I don't want it to be so stiff. Maybe change up springiness, it's a bit too much, a bit down, and ok, I think that's what I wanted. I will copy settings in a play mode, then paste in a edit mode. Now we will make abdomen move. So there is my bone, I will add tail animator blending to it, because these bones are animated. And let's hit play. Ok, first let's disable waving. I will change animation to idle so we can focus on the abdomen better. And as you can see, it's moving only the tip. We can make it move better using root to parent toggle. Depending on bone structure, sensitivity for these bones extrapolated so we can change sensitivity parameter down to smooth it out. Maybe change it down a bit more. Yeah. And I want it to be a bit bouncy, so I add more springiness. Alright, but I see we should change max stretching down. And now we have this. Let's copy settings, paste in edit mode and everything is saved. Let's play all animations again. 
Now let's check how abdomen is reacting with rest of the animations. Yeah, I like it, but I would like to make it more noticeable. So I will crank up the uh, sensitivity. I will make segments react more rapid, so bounciness will be more frequent. Maybe a bit too much. Yeah, I like the settings. So when we move object or it moves itself in animation, bones with tail animator are reacting. So again I copy settings in play mode and paste in edit mode. Now it's time to add tail animator to the head. I have selected my head bone, I add tail animator blending, hit connect with animator and with head we using only one bone and we have to tell animator to use only one. With auto get it would create tail chain from all head children so we prevented it by using toggle. It's working but let's add springiness so we can see it better. Hmm, but now I see that tongue is reacting too much. So we will change its parameters. It's too much elastic, so I will make it more rapid. Let's see what springiness can change here. Maybe less max stretching. Yeah, I think now it's better. Let's apply new settings in edit mode. Also, when using tail animator on bone, which children are also animated by tail animator, we should untoggle Q to last update. It's to keep right execution order. Thanks to that, first moves head, then children are following this motion. I will tweak component a bit more to make it move more like I feel it should move. I think that will be alright. Let's move to next bone. Finally we can set up wings. I will show this bone's structure. Wings have only two bones, which can sometimes limit motion, but we will use root to parent to make it more interesting. Now I will disable all tail animators which we set it up to focus on the wings. Now I will add tail animator blending to the wings because these are animated bones, disable waving and hit play. I will change animation again to idle, so we do basic setup without distractions. Tail animator on these two bones moves like this, so there is not much movement here. Let's enable root to parent. And now it moves much more. A bit too much though, so let's change down sensitivity. Ah, a bit too low. Let's find sweet spot. Okay, with main game logics and with animations it should look right. Let's enable all animations again. Okay, now let's add springiness to this. Maybe a bit more. And also let's make segments react more rapidly. Let's see how it looks. Okay, I like it. So let's copy settings. Let's paste in edit mode. I forgot about max stretching. Now let's paste to the other bone. But by pasting we also paste here bones which belongs to other wing. Let's correct that. I will just remove bones to zero. So component every time game starts will get tail chain automatically. Let's enable previous tail animators again. 
and see what we created. And that's how we finish this tutorial. Without talking the setup would take you about few minutes. We end here. I hope you liked it, or I helped you a bit. Please leave a like, subscribe for more, hit the bell for notifications about new videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.